So, a good friend of mine from Facebook, Dean, uh, sent me a really valuable information last night, and it's about this new robot. Um, I don't think it's on sale at the moment, but some of the videos and the philosophy of this staff has already been uploaded, and this video that I'm just going to play for you has already hit the 2.2 million, so it's gaining a lot of popularity at the moment, um, and it's very exciting. And it's a company by Embodied uh, Incorporation. And the robot is called Moxie. So let's look at the Moxie, the robot itself, um, from the YouTube video. So here it goes. Riley. Riley. That's a good name, Riley. Hi. There's someone here who wants to meet you. Why, the, why is his parents so cautious approaching him? He seems like a loner. <sighs> he needs a brother. Look at that. I'm a new robot. The way what is your name? I'm face is Riley. tilting. It's nice to meet you, Riley. What do you do to get ready for bed? Brush my teeth and read a story. I love stories. Would you read a story to me? Sure. So the camera is on the forehead, by the way. Still fresh in her mind. Gracefully gliding across the Head can tilt, body could lean forward just like Jibo. Breathing exercises always help me relax. Riley, we have a new mission. Would you make a drawing for me? Who commands all those drawing missions and so on? Someone programming from the cloud? I don't know. I mean. I'm so excited for you to tell me about the dentist. I've never been to one. You don't have teeth. But I can still smile. <laughs> Very good. It's very well animated. What happened? He said he didn't want to play with me anymore. Thank you for telling me about your day. Sometimes holding a friend's hand makes me feel better. It has a whole ear on both sides. Very good. Very human like. And a sensor on his hand as well. Palm. We are going to make some kind of notes for this mission. You'll need to talk to one of your friends about what makes them happy and then tell me all about it. Are you ready? I'm ready. Mom, Go for it, Riley. Can you play Mason on Wanna Play? Sure. I have a new mission. We're gonna talk about things that make us happy. Bye, Moxie. See you soon. Look at that. That's very well animated. Um, okay, so that's Moxie for you. So the big question will be, is Moxie designed for kids or is it for adults as well? Because it's giving sort of task of drawing some stuff for your parents. So I don't know whether it will be, whether it actually has specific target for kids, something to find out. But it's very well animated um, and it's really good quality robot as well. Um, you can see the quality of the robot um, throughout the experience of what I have actually seen so far. So Moxie here, that is actually by a company called Embodied Incorporation, is rumored to be priced around $1,500. If you think about it, it's not that bad. I mean, the quality is there. Uh, the animation is brilliant. It almost looks like a cartoon character is alive um, and talking to you, which is fantastic. Um, but we already know that I made a video uh, of a robot called Laiku, which is from a company called Toruk. It's a Korean company, and this robot can walk. And that it's priced to be around 2000 to 2200 US dollars, I believe, when I actually talk to them. And um, the face is reasonably um, animated as well. So it doesn't go as good quality as Moxie uh, for the facial expression, um, but Toruk Laiku is really good quality and it's reasonable price of um, 2000 to 2500 or 2200 US dollars. I guess when it, when it comes to robot walking around, it does cost a lot of skills and money and etc. Um, we know Sony Aibo which is rumored to be 1800 so it's slightly more expensive than Moxie but then again it just behaves like a robot it doesn't provide any information for you you have to give him a bone and it's I'm sure it's a very good quality made by Sony so we all could trust Sony um, but it's 1800 so it's 300 more 300 US dollars more expensive than Moxie and Jibo which gone bust unfortunately was very well animated it can't walk 
it's actually stationed just like Moxie. It doesn't have any hand, but the screen is bigger and it provides all these vital information. So it's a family robot, more or less. Um, we've got Vector here. It's Compared to Cosmo, it's actually designed for adults, and we all know about Vector, so I don't need to explain more. But it's a very good price, 250 US dollars, I believe, or 300, um, and it's gone down cheap. It's actually 70 or 80 uh, US dollars on, on Amazon, actually, so you could get it for a very good price now. Um, Misa is the one that I made recently. It, it does move around, but the body and the neck is stationed. It's just like a moving sort of still robot with the screen of Jibo. And um, that is actually uh, 350 US dollars hard price sale in Indiegogo if you sponsor now. But if you miss the chance, you have to pay 700 US dollars. So those are the list of the robots that we actually gone through. But overall, my thoughts on the Moxie is that the first priority that we need to look at is, is it designed for children? Is it or is it designed for um, adults as well? So if it's designed for children, why should I as an adult get it? For my own entertainment other than showing to you guys on youtube um, about privacy and the way how it's programmed it's actually giving a task to a child to draw up some drawings for for his mommy um, who's actually commanding that when is that program who actually decided all those things is it still in a um, long way to actually make decision on that sort of thing um, and so on but the way of how it's animated is amazing we're actually seeing probably the one of the best animated um, affordable home robot yet which cannot walk and I actually I guess the big question will be I guess it's actually going to be charged on a charging dock how long would the battery last or is it actually connected to some sort of like a constant cable and so on so those are the things we need to look after um, but the main thing as I said is who's the target customer for this Moxie robot it does look like mainly for a, um, a child needs some friends and so on by the looks of it but i'll do more investigation but i just want to give you guys a head up on this brilliant robot moxie and thank you dean by the way for always providing me with this great source i'm quite impressed with moxie uh, i'm sure there's going to be more um brilliant robot coming around but again i want to hear your guys thought on it would you actually pay 1500 us dollars if you have a child who needs a bit of a friend by the looks of it but I'm sure you'll have more magics on it. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this video. This is LJP Tech. Have a nice evening and I'll see you soon. All the best. Bye-bye.